This is what the Grease Show does to you. You'll be a broken woman. <laughs> You'll be exhausted. Welcome to the Brooks Degree Show. So, did this work? Um, Didna is from Oxford and she looks at mandalas. She often comes in big lumps of wood. So, that is work. We should see more of this later. Language and trying to understand language. Next up, we have Abby Flint, who makes wonderful aerial landscapes. They look both vast and tiny at the same time. They could be bacterial cells, they could be whole galaxies. Vivian's work? Because she likes to do super quick drawings and it's all very quick and flowing. This is part of uh, Parkinson's work. I was documenting the German military underground hospitals in Guernsey. This is lovely wallpaper made by Amanda Brown. Um, you too could have little dog, dog anuses on your wallpaper. <laughs> you too could have mass orgies in your bathroom. Amazing. It's very much I don't know. If you come down with some kind of weird illness, you lie in bed and the wallpaper starts to sort of do horrible things. These are Mises' work. They could be snake skins, they could be vertebrae, they could be shells. DNA? They could be geological, they are in fact plastic spoons. This is Vicky's work. Um, so she made this lovely video of herself drawing Jimmy Savo, Freddy, and is Gary also in this? I think he might be. Um, no, this is Lizzie Wood's work. Um, it's then we'll be looking at this later in the day. The work looks at this is called dynamics in white key. So it examines the human, the human, us all as both animal as a force of chaos and biology, but then also um, as a rational being capable of abstract thoughts and order. And it's just, so for her, the white key, this cube is sort of representative of order, the order that we impose upon ourselves and the one we try to impose upon a chaotic world. Yeah, um, this is work by Claire uh, Rainbows. She uh, finds objects near and in the river um, and then she turns them into these beautiful things. I'm, I'm always very tempted to see some. Um, um, this is Ali Miller. She is looking very much at social constructs and People in the group. This is Charmaine's work. How far women go in order to uh, be, be on the same level as the models. Drinking bleach and um, they're cheating themselves and it's yeah. sort of violent and domestic at the same time. And the military things that leads to the violence. In the same room we have Vicky Saw's uh, largest work, which is her Jimmy Sample painting my numbers. So it's sort of quite a statement piece. It's been very popular. Now Margaret Thatcher sort of reflects in the face. Um, and Carver, the immortality of mortality. Now we are entering the space of Natalie Eigen, master cards of her hands, making signs. Letters are something that don't have fixed meaning, and they're something to be analysed and played with. And play, play letters and squishing them underneath her, between her fingers. You know how close can we get to language? This works. Her mind paintings, and there she is. A world hunger, and people have to eat food. Now, here we have really beautiful work by Aiden. They were made by several chemical physics processes, like other universes and models. Protochemical obscurus by Jen. These sort of represent how the obscure is meant to work. These are uh, works by Vivian Fala, uh, they're made of aluminium. It's what Alex Hackett's work. These are small prints to accompany. Large work, she's looking at the body in the landscape and body as landscape. Photographs by Jane Frankel. Uh, still shots. Still shots. Oh, abstracts in the boys. Yes. <laughs> she tries if there's nothing to begin with. But then you have people to begin with. Because I think it's only two people dancing in there. So she managed to make sort of the appearance of more people. Yes, she managed to multiply them. <laughs> yeah. It just missed yours. Oh, it's fine. A lot of this is trying to look at all of the human relations from a purely visual point of view. This is how we connect. We kind of impress the English kind of way. Fleeting memories and how you're trying to capture them while they just fly away from you. How when you try to remember like a summertime evening in the grass. We have work by Jean Chapel. So much concern with memory, these paintings in, in fact were inspired by um, a trip 
across Asia. I work deal specifically, um, very intimately with um, cross-cultural references. She's, she's Hindu, but she's living in England. She's English, but Hindu. Her work also deals specifically with the significance and the role of the woman in the home. Um, with specific references to Hinduism, and she takes quotations from um, the Bhagavad Gita. Uh, we have for installation of women's culture. So Alex Hackett's space. Uh, body and landscape, body as a landscape. Um, I think these photographs in a way are kind of grotesque because in some of them you can't really quite figure out what part of the body is it or is it the body, what is it. We have Ollie Walker's work. This is and so this is a strange sort of amalgam of spiritual fashion and of mourning. Welcome to the painting room, Bethany. Microscopic photographs of the seeds of different plants, and then she did these prints with very textual. Imagine landscapes is very much um, trying to find someone which doesn't exist, someone where there just isn't perspective. These are Maria's paintings. And they're based on real places and also made of memories. So in a way, it's like telling honest lies. I'm also very concerned with the idea of immersion of body into the landscape. So we'll immerse it and make it in the woods. These are stealth patterns. She is looking at the urban mirage. Street lamps and water, like rain, for example. The, the phenomena that surround us. It looks a lot like a room, by the way, in our house. I think she's also interested in like the psychedelic qualities of light. Very much interested in the virtual and the real. This is Jen's work. It's turned her bedroom and her house into a massive camera obscura. She was very much looking at um, the domestic space and the agoraphobia and the fear of the outside. So very much dream like it's sort of the outside inside and the fear of the outside and the sort of intersection between these two spaces. There's more work by Bethany on a smaller scale. Welcome to the, um, the body room. Which is She's screen printed the pattern. She's interspersed bits with biological terms. So you've got fold line, fold line, metacarpal. So it's sort of the putting together of bodies and how, how we constructed what yeah. goes into us. This is Jackie Crow's. It's interesting people come by me blah, blah, because it's very visceral. Supposedly, scientists find located areas of the brain connected to trust, morality, and doubts. Yes, she's constructed models. These little maquettes made out of clay and resin, which she's photographed, blown up. This is Carrie Ann Chisholm's work. The focus of her work was on proxemics, the sort of the spaces and the distances between people. Looking at skin um, through the Polaroid, and it's very much just play between photograph, the skin, the connections between people, the touch. sort of interstate and touch. How do you represent touch through a flat image? Or idea of the object through the photography. Come down. We can enter Sophie Lewis work. It's relevant to the history of art. Bonner painted his wife who had to bathe on his bad skin condition. She photographed a friend bathing in say baths, um, the results of rejection back into the bath. The naked person in the bath, they're very vulnerable, it's sort of fairly moonlight, it's like this little mess of wounds. Um, say personal space. There's a lot to see, isn't there? There's a lot to see, we it's very full of this, so. This is Rachel Clark's work, we're supposed to sit down. It's very much an immersive piece. Her work is very much looking at mentality, the beyond, almost close enough to touch. Um, but far enough, but just beyond. Um. It's a wall with holes in, which kind of forces you to sort of look through. Origami flowers out of glassy. Intimate, peeping through, being nosy. Now this is a sculptural installation by uh, Dayan So. Much rooted in his culture from Cambodia. Buddhist temples have been pillaged and looted. However, there was also this growing culture of fake pharmaceuticals, specifically often manufactured over there. The consequences of that. 700,000 people die every year. These 
Buddhas were made from ground up fake drugs bought on the internet. Thank you very much for your tour. You're welcome. <laughs> Come again. It is worth it. You're worth it. We're all worth it. <laughs> Shahanara Ahmed, Tanisha Bonham, Amanda Brown, Susanna Burningham, Ant Carver, Georgina Chappelle, Aidan Chewings, Kerry Ann Chisholm, Rachel Clark, Gemma Davis, Natalie Eigen, Rachel Emmett, Vivian Faller, Abigail Flint, Jane Frankel, Alex Hackett, Bethany Hensman, Dimpna Irwin, Evelyn Jones, Sophie Lamb, Charlotte Lawson, Charley, Sophie Lean. Jacqueline McRae, Relista Meliva, Emma Parkinson, Estelle Patton, Claire Ringrose, Diane So, Victoria Soir, Mita Vaghela, Bette Wood, Oliver Wortley, and Maria Zerdiva. Thank you to everyone whose support and advice has helped to make this exhibition possible.